So guys, the year is almost over and I see these best tech lists popping up left and right and I love watching those because as a fellow techie, it's really interesting to see which pieces of tech made it onto other people's lists. It could be because they use it every day or because it left a certain impression on them. And for me, this is a really fun way to close off the year and to nerd out with you guys one last time in 2022. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So guys, let's just dive right in and start with the first item on this list. And that is of course the iPad mini. And I say of course, because if you've been to the channel before, I'm sure you've heard me profess my undying love for this little gem. Yeah, I know. Technically, the iPad mini came out at the end of last year, but it is without a doubt the piece of tech that I've used the most, except for maybe my iPhone throughout 2022. So it most certainly deserves a solid spot on this list. I won't go into any major detail. You can find numerous iPad mini videos on this channel in case you want to catch up on those. But what makes this such a great little companion for me is definitely its size. It's light. It's ultra portable, it fits in any bag, it's not obtrusive, and still it's more powerful than something like the iPad Air 4. If you're into taking handwritten notes, this guy is literally the size of a notepad. You already know that I slap on a paper like as a first order of business, but this year I found something in addition to my paper like that makes handwriting even easier. Which brings us to the next item on this list, and that is these all new pen tips. I've reviewed their Gen 1 pencil tips before, which was basically a set of 3D printed caps that slide over your pencil stip to give it a bit more drag. But this year, they took it a step further and created a set of actual pencil tips. Pencil tips that replace the one that comes with your Apple Pencil. And unlike the Apple one, these are soft, so I'm sure you can imagine what a difference that makes to your handwriting. By the way, I'll put links to these things and everything else you see in the video in the description down below. Next on my list is my daily driver and my absolute workhorse of a computer, and that is the M1 MacBook Pro. I'm using the spec'd out 14 inch model with the max chip and 64 gigabytes of unified memory, and it still cuts through everything like butter. Again, came out towards the end of last year, but no new MacBooks came out that come even close to this one, and that includes the M2 MacBook Pro, which quite frankly, I'm not even sure why anyone would choose that unless you really, really like that touch bar. Anyway, this machine has been an absolute dream. It is my laptop as well as my desktop, and I'm extremely happy that I went for the 14 inch model, which in my opinion is the way to go. The 16 inch is still too small to replace an external monitor, so why carry around all the extra bulk? I like this one, it's nice and portable, and when I'm at the office, I'll hook it up to an external display anyway. Speaking of external displays, my new favorite is without a doubt, the Apple Studio display that you can see right there. Yeah, I said my new favorite because I had to wait months and months for it to finally get here. A bit of a Murphy's Law situation, but it's finally here and oh man, what a treat. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. The built-in webcam is terrible to a point where it's actually embarrassing, so I don't really use it. And the extra money that Apple makes us pay so we can just move it up and down, a little bit ridiculous. But the display itself is simply amazing. The design is phenomenal fits the aesthetic of the rest of my setup, and it will be an important centerpiece of the ultimate dream desk setup I'm currently building. And of course, I'm recording the process to share the final result with you in a video at the beginning of 2023. I promise you it will be worth it. So if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And of course, your sub will be much appreciated. The next item on this list, and arguably the most exciting product Apple has released all of this year, is of course, my good old Apple Watch Ultra. I've been using this thing day and night for a number of months now, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Everything from the rugged design, the beautiful display, improved call quality, and of course the vastly improved battery life, this thing never ceases to impress me. It is by far my favorite smartwatch to date. I've done a couple of videos on it, and I'm currently working on my long-term review of this beast, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now, one of the easiest way to make your Apple Watch feel new again is of course by swapping out the watch bands for some awesome new ones, which brings me to today's sponsor, Casetify. Of course, we all know Casetify for their funky looking customizable and unbreakable iPhone cases. Yeah, I actually took my drone and dropped my iPhone from the sky and it was still completely fine. But did you know that they make some really awesome Apple watch bands as well? And of course you can get all the colorful and customizable ones as you're used to from Casetify. 
eye. But for the Apple Watch Ultra in particular, I love these stainless steel monolink bands. You can get them in four colors, black, silver, gold, and rose gold. And what's cool about them is that you can make them fit any watch size. And of course, they come with a set of tools to add and remove links so you can always get the perfect fit for your wrist. The monolink bands are made from premium stainless steel. They have a beautiful brushed finish to them, preventing scratches and a very stylish butterfly clasp. Who said you can't wear the Apple Watch Ultra to a formal occasion? Oh, and they're water, sweat, and corrosion resistant. Case Device Apple Watch Bands are now available at casedevice.com. Just go to casedevice.com slash Patrick Rambles today to get 15% off your order. Right, moving on to the next item on this list, and that is not the iPhone 14 Pro. Although I use my iPhone every single day, probably more than any other piece of tech, to me the 14 Pro was such an incremental upgrade to the 13 Pro that I didn't really find it exciting enough to put on this best tech list for this year. Hopefully that'll be different for the iPhone 15 Pro next year, but for now, that's a no for me. But that doesn't mean that we haven't seen any cool tech come out to support said iPhone. In fact, two of the most innovative little gadgets that came out this year and that did excite me are supporting iPhone accessories. I made a dedicated video on both of them and I will link to all of those videos in the description down below in case you're interested in learning more about them in greater detail. But the first one is this little piece of spinning goodness. It is the Pitaka Mag Easy Slider. I love this thing for many reasons, but the number one reason is this. I just can't get enough of that rattling noise. It is so satisfying. But also because it's the most well-designed, modular, all-in-one charger I've ever used. Everything is removable and can be used as a standalone device, like the watch charger, like the MagSafe battery. But stick them all on here and you've got them all in one place in this single snazzy looking package. If there's one thing every techie should have, it is this thing. Another accessory I'm really into was sent to me only recently by a company called Aohi. I've reviewed their products before, mostly the little GAN chargers, and they're always solid products, but this cable set is something else. I'm absolutely in love with the design. Not only does it look fantastic, it is also modular and multifunctional. You can create a USB-C cable, a lightning cable, you can keep it short or extend it with one of these extension cables or both of them if you need that extra reach between a socket and your laptop, for instance. This set is now the only cable I keep in my tech pouch because it's literally all I need. 10 out of 10, great innovation. And again, if you wanna see more about this product, I did a full video, it's available on the channel. And of course, I can't finish this video without talking about my new favorite keyboard and mouse combination, the Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac and the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini. Now, I've been a fan of the Logitech MX Master 3 for a long time. It is the most ergonomic mouse I've ever used. The magnetic scroll wheel is just super fast. It's a game changer and I don't think I can ever go back to video editing without having a side scroll wheel. I recently got this MX Master 3S specifically for Mac in pale gray and I absolutely love it. And my favorite feature is this quiet click. Just listen. When it comes to keyboards, I'm a bit finicky. I do like mechanical keyboards a lot, but because they're so high, my hands get tired and I find myself going back to the Apple Magic Keyboard quite often because of its low profile. The Logitech MX Mechanical Mini combines the best of two worlds for me. You get all the satisfaction from those tactile mechanical keys and the beautiful typing noises it produces while maintaining that low profile so my hands and wrists don't get fatigued. And of course I picked the pale gray for this as well since I have a very specific look in mind for that dream desk setup I told you I'm building. Watch this space. Anyway guys, if you enjoy the video, please give it one of these. It really does make a difference. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.